Hey guys, and welcome to the Family Fudge. A few days ago, I shared with you what we got our kids for Christmas this year. And if you'd like to see that video, I'll go ahead and link it down below. But today, I'm sharing stocking stuffer ideas. I'm gonna share with you some ideas for girls and some ideas for boys. But before we get started, give this video a big thumbs up and go ahead and hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already. First up, I'm sharing some ideas that would be perfect for an older girl around Mackenzie's age. Age. So here's some things I think she might like. Starting with a gigantic unicorn hair bow. This is a JoJo hair bow, and I love this one because it has lots of different colors, so it can go with so many of her outfits, and I love the bling on there. There's rhinestones in the middle and throughout the bow, and check out this cute little charm right there. Right now, Mackenzie doesn't have any JoJo bows, so I'm pretty sure she would love to get this. The next thing I know Mackenzie would love to get is a five surprise ball. Now this is just like a blind bag toy, but this one's a little bit different because there's five toys inside. So I can go ahead and open this one up for you to give you an idea of the toys inside. So you open it up like this in five little chambers. Oh, five little chambers open up. We have five different surprises. Ooh, in this first one, we found a stamp. Let's check this one. Oh, how cute. It's a little unicorn keychain. And it's kind of squishy. Nice. Time for the next one. Oh, you guys, look at this one. It's a little fairy. Oh, she's so cute. And you put her little wings on the back, just like that. That is adorable. Okay, we have a couple more surprises in here. Oh, oh, this is slime, you guys. Pink slime to be exact. Now, if I can, well, you guys get the idea. It's pink slime. And then, one more thing. One more thing in here. Oh, it's a cute little figure. Oh, you guys, look. It's like a little ice cream cone puppy. That is adorable. Now, it wouldn't be a stocking without some candy, so I think Mackenzie would love this little kids mix box of Jelly Bellies. There's lots of different flavors in here, 20 of the kids' favorite. So we have blueberry and cotton candy and bubble gum, and my favorite, the buttered popcorn. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite Jelly Belly flavor is. Next up, we have a Moj Moj surprise ball. Now the Moj Moj is like a little claw machine game. So this is a little toy that can go inside it or you can just collect them. So let's open this up and see what's inside. Oh, kind of hard to open. Oh, there it is. Cute little squishy. Oh. Something came out of it. Oh, like a little purple thing. I'm not even sure what that is, but it did come with a little cord. You can wrap it around there and then hang it on your backpack. This is adorable. And it also comes with stickers. Another thing I know my kids would love in the stocking is some edible treats, but this one is not a sweet treat actually some white cheddar cheese balls and these ones are super adorable because they look like snowballs look how cute by now i think the stocking would be pretty full so i just have a couple more things including a squish delish i know mackenzie loves squishy toys and she especially loves the slow rising ones let's see what's inside this one it's a cute box. Look how cute. Her little eyes are so happy. Let's check the squish factor. Ooh, very nice. Now let's find out if she smells. Oh, she smells like strawberries. I love it and I know Mackenzie would love it too. Next up I have another sweet treat I know Mackenzie would love. This is just a bag of chocolate coins. So classic for Christmas. And then last but not least, in every stocking, we like to find an orange. 
right at the bottom. Okay guys, next up I'm gonna share with you some stocking stuffer ideas that I know my oldest son Jackson would love. Starting with a fizz and surprise egg. This is a dino egg, but it's also a bath bomb. So you can put it in the bath and it'll fizz up and then inside you can find a dinosaur toy. But it actually comes in pieces, so then you get to build it too. I think this is super fun. I think he's gonna love it. And speaking of love, just like his older sister, Jackson would also be so happy to see this five surprise in his stocking. Let me open this up though, because this one is a boy version, so the toys inside are a little bit different. Okay, so now we're gonna open this little thing right here. And then the five sections just open up just like that. Let's find out what's in this one. It's a little ninja guy. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, and there's a little suction cup on the back so you can like stick them to your window. So in this one, we found a little fishy. Oh, it looks kind of like a mean fish though. Moving on, let's see, this one is some kind of monster? I don't really know what this one is. Must be some kind of monster. And we found the slime. This one's a yellow slime, ooh. Oh yuck, you guys, it's like tiny little maggots. Ooh, kind of gross. And that is the five surprise. Now I'm pretty sure Jackson would also like to get some food treats in his stocking as well. So I'm pretty sure he would appreciate these cheddar cheese snowballs and the jelly bellies. Ooh, yummy. Next up is a Lost Kitties box. If you guys have never seen these, they're very interesting. You open up the box like this and inside you find this little container. You have to open this like that. And there's this little compound in here, kind of like Play-Doh. And you've got to dig through it to find the lost kitty. So let's see if we can find what's in this one. Oh, oh, I see it. There it is. Oh, almost, almost, oh yes. Okay, oh, there's a little bag and some more compound and there's something else down there. Oh, it's the stand for whatever's inside this bag. And, oh, look it! It's the kitty with his head stuck in some toast. That is adorable. And I think you're supposed to stick them on here. I don't know. There we go. Ta-da! I also think Jackson would love his own squish dealish surprise bag, but these ones are actually the wacky ones. You can see there's kind of some gross creatures in there, and some aliens, and eyeballs. Well, let's open it up and see what these are like. Who did we get? Underwear, we got underwear. Oh my gosh, you guys. Let's check and see how it squishes. Yeah, pretty good. Should we give it a smell? I don't know. Mmm, kind of smells like grape. And then last but not least, of course, Jackson would also expect to find an orange in his stocking. Moving right along to some stocking stuffer ideas for Miss Lily's age. She just turned five, and the first thing I know she would love is a twisty pet. These are so cute, you guys. And I'm not gonna open this one right now just because it would take a lot of time, but basically this little pony can also turn into a bracelet. So it's kind of like a transformer, but for girls. This is so cute and sparkly. And this one's called Violetta Pony. So cute. Another fun stocking stuffer I know she would love is her own fizz and surprise egg. Now, unlike the one I think Jackson would like, this one is mermaid themed. So you just drop it in water, watch it fizz, but then this one has a mermaid inside and the tail will change color, so that'll be super fun. 
And speaking of fun, I know she would love to see a pick me pop in her stocking. Now this one is actually the plushy one. It flips, so let's see if I can open it. Ooh, okay, it is so soft and plushy. And you guys, it smells like cotton candy. But check this out. You can actually turn it inside out. We can see what kind of plushies inside. Ta-da! And there it is. I think this is a puppy. So cute. Look at his little eyes. This also comes with a little bag. And inside you can find this little cord and make this into a keychain. You could put it on your backpack. And I have to say that this guy smells so good. He's so soft. She would love this. Now, of course, she's also gonna want some tasty treats in her stocking. So we have some snowballs and some jelly bellies. Quite often, the kids will find the same kind of treats in their stockings. So everything kind of evens out. Now, I know little sister loves to do everything that big sister does. So I think that Lily would love a five surprise in her stocking as well. Now I'm not gonna open this one because I already showed you the first one and they're pretty much the same. You just open it up and there's five different toys you can find. I know she will love it. And the last thing is the orange. That's right, every kid expects an orange at the toe of their stocking. Now on to Mr. Griffin. Stocking ideas are a little bit more challenging for him because He's a little bit too young for all the toys with little parts, and he typically doesn't eat a lot of candy. So the first thing I know he would be excited to see is a board book. He loves to sit and read books with me, and I love that this one is the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer story. It is so colorful, and you can find books like this at the dollar store, so they're super affordable. Next up, I have two adorable little cars. I know Griffin loves cars right now, and these ones are especially fun. This one's a little race car, and we have a police car. And let me show you what these guys do. These ones you can actually pull back and let them go, although they don't work very well on a tablecloth. This next idea is probably the cutest one because it is a cutito after all. If you've never seen one of these, it's basically a mystery burrito friend. And you don't know which furry friend you're gonna get until you unroll the burrito. So I have one here I can show you. It comes just like this. And this is like a soft plushy tortilla. It looks really realistic actually. And then you don't know which one you're gonna get until you unwrap it. There's a little Velcro on there so you can rewrap it. And as you can see, there's a cute little plushie inside. This one has a little birthmark on its side so you can tell what kind of creature it is. Now Griffin usually finds some yummy treats in his stocking as well, just like the older siblings, but instead of candy, he might find some cookies. And these shortbread cookies are especially good. And then of course we have the orange. Okay friends, I hope you enjoyed all these stocking stuffer ideas. Let me know in the comments down below what you love to find in your stocking. Personally, I love finding chocolate in my stocking. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.